No, I believe it's a six millimeter that I'm missing. Maybe not. It's an awful sloppy fit. That's a seven millimeter wrench and it did the job, but there's a lot of slop in it. Okay, maybe I'll be able to get this in there now. The Gibbs opened up a little bit. Is a travel on that. sure if you can sense how, how stiff that is to turn. Okay, the quick change tool post comes back up. Locking nut. And get that squared up to Okay, that's good. Now I need to take this off and I need to reduce the diameter of this, well, 50 thousandths or so. So let's go ahead and do that. Too much interference with this handle down here. And I uh, believe this is an M6 nut. I uh, had the M6 screws, but I didn't have any M6 nuts. And I happen to have some uh, 12L14 hex stock. Was able to make my own nuts, which is, uh, you know, that whole concept of that is no big deal to, to most of you, but it was kind of, uh, kind of a neat idea for me to, to be able to make a nut. up 
go ahead and put this nut back on here. That's my little handle. So we need to get this mounted here. I do have this lip on this side. And I think I'd be better off if I could find a pin to put in there and chuck up on the pin. Let me see what I can come up with. Okay, I was able to get that to run pretty true, and I, I ran two short passes across it. So, I think we're pretty much at zero now. I'm going to put in five thousandths. That might be a little heavy. Yeah, high speed steel, I'm 500 RPM. I'm going to advance it by hand. Try it again with a little oil. Do another five thousand. Go ahead and look. Power feed or automatic feed or. Probably a bit much. Let's try three thousand. I'm not sure if you can see my hole. Machine shaking, or what? More importantly, the tool post in the compound is is uh, shaking all about. It's kind of like dealing with runoff as long as you've got it shaking evenly or consistently. It's just bouncing around. Okay, I'll continue with that and try to get rid of uh, I don't know, fifty thousandths or so. We'll bring you back. Okay, I'm having pretty good luck here with um, three to four thousand. Feeding it by hand. Okay. 
destroying my nice long sleeve gray shirt. Point is, is I got it running a little smoother. For the very end there. I got quite a ways to go yet at five thousandths a swipe, so we'll bring you back. Okay, I switched over to a carbide tip tool. You can already see the finish is much different. So let's do five thousandths with that. And about 500 RPM. And there's 5,000. 